21 minutes after 9, joining me this morning, the boys from Green over St. Ambrose! Yay! Hey, That's uh, Corey and Mark are joining me. Corey LeBlanc and Mark Durkin joining me this morning. Good morning, guys. Hey, hey, good morning. Good morning. Okay, so the CD, the big, the, finally, the EP was out, and I want to talk first on the EP side. The EP side was um, inside Overton Window, looking out Overton Window? Just Overton Window. Overton Window. Okay, yeah. that's like the teaser. Yeah. So you get the EP that comes out, you know, it's a, few, it's a little teaser for you. And then all of a sudden, bam, full-blown album. And yeah. uh, I want to first off ask you about the name, Truth For News. Who came up with it? Uh, it was in, It was part of one of our songs. I think it was mostly a, to do with the fact that when we started our band, we wanted to be Bon Jovi cover band. <laughs> really? <laughs> and uh, we could figure out the Bon part. But the Jovi <laughs> was really hard to get down. So couldn't grasp it. So that's pretty well where all that came from. Yeah. All the songs are written about Bon Jovi. It's written about the truth. Or just the Bon. Because right. like I said, we've been at the Jovi. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> all right. So Actually, no, it's a lyric from one of the songs that Ken Drills of Happiness. Which is more politically based. I yes, think. yes, yeah. definitely, indeed. Yeah. So when did the album actually drop? Uh, today. 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 So you have a box of freshies at home, right? Well, in Halifax. In Halifax. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> iTunes, you can go on to that right. as well. Okay, so but you could you could have pre-ordered the album as well. Yes, correct. Okay, so if somebody's looking for a copy here in Yarmouth today and they're going, "Where's Mark, man? I'm gonna go see him. I'm gonna see Corey downtown, man. You get an album." Yeah, and you will have a place in Yarmouth to buy it. I believe we're gonna put them in a few locations. Like we're not really sure where yet, but local businesses around town. Okay. I hope. Yeah. yeah. So oh, yeah. and you guys just came back from the pop explosion in Halifax. Yeah. Smiley faces. Oh. Who, did, who did you have to jam with while you were there? Oh. Uh, the, we, uh, Kestrel's Law before us, and then after us it was... Elliot Brood. Elliot Brood, and then Winter Sleep. Winter Sleep. Oh, was the hometown heroes. Yeah. 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 So, uh, how was it playing with the Winter Sleep boys? Fantastic. We played for a very large and appreciative crowd. How, how many people? Oh, four or five hundred, I would wow. say. Yeah, at the Olympic Hall in Halifax. Good time. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, you guys have been around the block for a while. I mean, Mark, you've been in a gazillion and one different bands. Yeah. So, <laughs> the this tell us a little bit about this band. Is and I'm going to say that on a personal level because I mean I've known you for years. Yeah. You've been in the music circle in the town of Yarmouth for many, many years. Um, Rain over St. Ambrose. You guys have gone quite far with this band yeah. thus far, and uh, you got a long ways to go. But yet you've you've gone a fair distance. That's right. Yeah, I guess that's the difference. Is uh, <laughs> every other band I've been in. I mean, whatever. I guess the style of music that Rain Over plays is kind of the way to go. It's, but it's also not really like, you know, you you could sell out completely and play pop music and just write radio hits and whatever, and that would get you fired. But I don't feel like that's what we're doing. I feel like there's a, uh, I feel like it, it's music that I enjoy playing, yeah. you know, as opposed to music that I that I don't enjoy. And it's better than you know. A comedy act. You guys all get along <laughs> as a unit too, though. We do. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and that's an important thing in a band. That's right. Chemistry is is uh, is a big plus because yeah. people get along and then attitudes and egos and next right. thing you know, people being cranky. And well, the only good thing was that we played together for a good year, just hammering the army. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we we practice twice a week, play our shows on the weekend. So we got to be around each other quite a bit to understand what it would kind of be like to go on the road yeah we do like two three days at a time yeah not really get on each other's nerves kind of what we still do we don't yeah. really like to go out for too long you know? would you tour though if the opportunity come up and they Absolutely. say you know hey let's go on a canadian tour right yeah. I, th I think that that's probably going to happen uh, mid-march actually cool right on yeah. and so how far do you think you're going around the country or from um for now we'll probably the west kind of probably, thing probably stick to central ontario Right on. Yeah. Probably we went there last year. Went to Toronto last year. It was alright. Went for like eight days. And yeah. Like just kind of play your way through the major cities as you're going to yeah. to cool. Toronto. And who does all the, who does the writing for the band? Is it a collaborative effort or? You know? I think I write the songs. I write like the frame of the song, and then I bring it to them, and they write the song. If you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. If you were to hear the you're, song, you're more the lyricist than. Yeah, you know, and and the structure of it. And yeah. then if you were to hear the song that I write, you probably wouldn't like the song. Yeah. You know but then once it's and a collaborative effort. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Um, some of the influence of uh, some of the songs. Let's let's talk. Walking home for one. I think that one's mainly about Bon Jovi, isn't it? That. <laughs> hey. Um, Living on a prayer. Yeah. Was was playing when I wrote that song. Yeah. And I was so mad about the again the Jovi factor. Right. It's uh, I call it the Jovi factor. Is what it is. Yeah. Uh, 
that I had to write that song. Yeah. At the yeah. end of there, there's that there's that Jovi riff. That that I feel you, that bluesy Jovi. Yeah. Jovi. Jovi, Jovi riff. Yeah. Jovial. Are you guys you guys playing in Yarmouth sometime soon? We are playing in Yarmouth December fourteenth at Haley's Lounge. Oh, cool. Uh, that's our CD release. Cool. I guess. On the fourteenth, December fourteenth. So I mean, our CD is released, but that's yeah. Our official home party. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everybody has to have a drop party, man. That's right. They have to have a drop party. Yeah. How have you guys been uh, accepted outside of Yarmouth? I know you know you have a big following here in Yarmouth, and, and once you leave your hometown and you go to the city, and and all of a sudden it's kind of new territory for you. How have you been accepted outside of the town? Well, I I find Yarmouth follows you wherever you go. Oh really? It's so it's true. <laughs> when we're you can't help it. When, you're, when we're in Halifax, you hear people yelling Yarmouth in the in the front row. There, wow. There, it's usually what well, the front row is usually made up of Yarmouth people. It's, I'm surprised if it's not. Um, <laughs> uh, and I mean, places like Fredericton are great. They've yeah. the last time we played there, we it was a packed house. It was. So, so it's, it's a good feeling to have people outside of your hometown come up to you and go, you guys, you guys are great, man. You guys rock. Where are you from? Oh, it's, yeah, awesome. Yeah. it's awesome to see people I have no idea who they are singing our songs. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy to me. Incredible. I love it. So where can the average Joe or Jane pick up your tracks? Where can they check them out online? Well, I mean, like I said, the album is available on iTunes. Uh, our Bandcamp website. Uh, mm -hmm. You can listen to Walking Home right now. Yeah, you can listen to Walking Home. Yeah. Um, I believe, can you still pre-order it on, online? I, I don't know. I don't think it's, I don't think it's a pre-order. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's a pre-order. You can still order it at right. our Bandcamp site, or you could go to AcadianEmbassy.com. Yeah, Acadian or Embassy. you got to give Acadian Embassy. Or Yeah. All right, and a little bit about Trevor and Acadian Embassy. They, they're they your, um, your PR people? I guess they're our management. They're, they're, I mean, the reason why we're, we've taken off a uh, quicker than most bands is because they, they've kind of done it before, and, and the bands, they were in previously so they figured out what what the right things to do what the wrong things to do were and they're, they're kind of putting us on the right path oh, yeah okay cool and everybody needs great management too you know? that's Absolutely. right where do you see rain over st ambrose in i don't know uh, a couple of years time oh, man. hopefully on the same path that we're on right now just all up we're touring and another album oh, oh yeah for sure we already yeah. right now we're already working on another one thinking how many tracks on this album We've got 11 tracks total. So it's a full album. It's a full length, man. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and we recorded that at Coda Pop Studios uh, in Halifax, and we got to give a big shout-out to Doug and Tammy of Coda Pop yeah. for being very supportive and giving us hospitality because they're great people. Yeah. And Coda Pop's a great studio, great yeah. place to record. I'd Lot, recommend lots it of East Coast artists have used Coda yeah. Pop. Yeah, absolutely. And distribution, you're getting some distro through um, um, Kim St. Clair. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Spin yeah, yeah, yep. uh, doing good for you on radio yeah. and getting you played on different stations and all that. All right, I'm going to play one of your tracks, um, Walking Home. And again, tell us, <laughs> before we play it, tell us a little bit about the Bond Jovi thing. Like, okay, I what, what, what I have to know. Living on a Prayer, uh, Sad Nights, uh, Cappuccino, Acoustic Guitar, Couldn't Figure Out the Jovi. There you go. All right, so that basically sounds it. Couldn't figure out the joke. Once again, that date when you guys will have your CD drop party is going to be at Haley's Lounge. That's December 14th. But, I mean, if you want a copy and you see us on the street, come yell at us and we'll figure it away. Hit them up, man. Hit them <laughs> up right there. Thanks a lot for dropping in, guys. Thank yeah. you. This is Walking Home, right over St. Ambrose. Here all the way. Thanks a lot. <laughs>